Hi, in this video I'm going to explain how you work out the answer to question 3 of the THS practice paper 1 for core 1. This paper has been made for AQA but it's suitable for the exam boards. If you found this video um, and you just kind of stumbled across it, have a look down in the comment section below and you can download the paper from there. If you've got any questions, contact me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore G underscore Walton or on our school account at Tubton Maths. So question 3 says, prove that the line y equals 3x minus 10 does not intersect the curve y equals x squared minus 5x plus 7. And this is a 5 mark question. There's nothing else in here. Um, there's no other clues. There's no steps. It's just a single 5 mark question. So let's have a think about what we know about this so far. Well, we've got this line, y equals 3x minus 10, which is just a linear, um, it's just a straight line. And we've got this, y equals x squared minus 5x plus 7, which is a quadratic. Um, if something is going to intersect or not, it could. Let's think about what could happen. Well, we could have the case where we've got our quadratic and a line going through it, like this, intersecting at two places. Alternatively, we could have our quadratic coming like this and our line coming and touching at just one place. Or finally, our last choice is that we've got a quadratic and a line that doesn't intersect. Now the question says that it doesn't intersect. We need to somehow prove that it doesn't. Now, when have we seen things that look like this before? Having two I'm going to call it roots, a single repeated root, or no roots at all. And I'm hoping at this point you're saying the discriminant, because you would be absolutely right if you did. So we're going to use the discriminant. Now, what are we going to use the discriminant on, is the question. Well, we're trying to show that these two things here don't intersect. It's a bit like a pair of simultaneous equations. So what we're going to do is we're going to take y equals 3x minus 10, and we've got y equals x squared minus 5x plus 7. And because we've got y equals here and y equals here, we can put them equal to each other, rearrange, and see if we can use a discriminant on that. So in this case, I've now got 3x minus 10 is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 7. Rearrange, uh, I'm going to move everything from the left hand side over to the right um, just to keep my positive x squared and for no other reason. So I'm going to add 10 to both sides um, and I'm going to take 3x from both sides and I'm going to get 0 on this side. x squared, I said I was taking 3x away from both sides, so minus 8x and I'm adding 10 plus 17 plus 17. Um, and so I've got a quadratic here, which I'm now going to use the discriminant on. Now remember that the discriminant was b squared minus 4ac. Um, and we know that a, and this is when we have it in the form ax squared uh, plus bx plus c. We know in this case our a is 1 our b is minus 8, and our c is 17. Now, there's something that was interesting about the, um, about the discriminant. We, in particular, are interested for when it doesn't intersect. So we're looking for the solution here, this one. And if we apply this to the discriminant, that's when b squared minus 4ac is going to be less than 0. So I'm hoping that if I use the x squared minus 8x plus 17, I should get something that's less than 0. So let's put the numbers in there. Uh, b, we said it was minus 8. So we've got minus 8 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 17. Um, minus 8 squared is 64. Minus 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 17s are 68. So minus 68, which is in fact minus 4.
4. So we do indeed get the situation where b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. And we can say um, when b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, uh, we have no intersections. Okay, and we've done that. And so that's it. Um, what have we had to do to get our five marks? Well, first of all, we've had to rearrange um, and basically spot that these are simultaneous equations, so we can put them equal to each other. We've had to do some rearranging here. We've had to remember to use the discriminant and what the discriminant tells us. So not just the fact that we're using it, but also then understanding what it's going to tell us. We've substituted the numbers in, we've got an answer, and we've done a final line to show that it's, uh, that it's true. Let's just prove it to ourselves on the next slide. Okay, so I've actually drawn it out for you here. Um, this curve here is the y equals x squared minus 5x plus 7. This line is y equals 3x minus 10. We can see that they don't meet, so we were right in our assumptions earlier. Okay, you might not have spotted that this was a discriminant question, um, and if we're showing that two equations intersect or not, the sorts of things that you're going to be looking for in the question are whether they have one root, so maybe one kind of repeated root. It might say something like um, a tangent, for example. Um, it might say that it meets at a single point. You might be looking for no roots or no intersections, in this case that they don't intersect like the one we've just done. Um, or alternatively, you might see something that talks about uh, meeting at two points. And so the key for this sort of a question is, as ever, read the question really carefully and pick out some of these keywords as I've highlighted here. I'm sure that you can use the discriminant. Whether you recognise that this question was a discriminant question or not is the part where we might have gone wrong. OK, hopefully this was useful. Uh, good luck in the rest of the paper. Well, hopefully everything's going well for you so far and good luck in your exams. Bye.